All right, hello everybody. I'm going to uh, go through how to set up a uh, spreadsheet specifically for housing finances, which is a uh, follow-up to the lessons we've done in financial algebra. So I'm going to show you the end result here first. I'm going to go pretty quickly. Um, we'll we'll make it look pretty later, um, as far as you know how I've formatted all these borders and everything. But you know I want you to go ahead and see how I set everything up as far as formulas. So the first thing I do is I name my um, file to or whatever hour I'm in my underscore my last name underscore housing finances so obviously um, this middle part and whatever hour you're in is going to be different for everybody all right so once we've got that all set up um, then we're going to go ahead and get into the spreadsheet so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this off to my other screen we'll go ahead and put we'll assume I'm in hour two again Actually, we'll say I'm an hour five. Just give it a different name. Miller underscore housing finances. Okay, so we're going to work off of one spreadsheet. Now, one thing you may or may not know is down here you have tabs. Um, they're actually sheets. So you can have within a spreadsheet multiple sheets. So I'm going to have sheet one here as a default. I'm going to double click on that and I'm going to rename it and I'm going to type front end ratio and then formula and hit enter again if I go a little fast for you that's okay because you have the pause button and you can always go back alright so now I'm gonna go ahead and start setting up my um, my sheet so this is gonna say front end ratio and in the interest of time for the video I'm just gonna copy and paste a few things over here so I'm gonna copy and we're gonna get this in here like that all right, so there you see that, and so that's in there, and we'll format it later. And in here, I'm going to put my monthly housing expenses, like that. Whoops. Let's try that again. Copy and paste. There we go. Now, it, it messes up like that um, just because I'm copying and pasting, but if I go ahead and do this, highlight those cells and then come over here and click merge cells it's going to go ahead and merge them for me all right so there's that and I'm actually going to go with a couple of different um, cells here so I'm gonna go with copy and I'm gonna put in we'll drag this over here there we go so this is going to be annual property tax, annual insurance, and mortgage payment because we're doing front-end ratios. So one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click and I'm going to highlight this part and I'm going to unbold that because I only want annual bolded. I'm going to click like this and highlight insurance and unbold that one. Yours is probably not going to be bold because uh, by default it's not. And then mortgage payment will just be regular text. Okay, so we're going to put in some, let me get rid of some things here. Um, you can see I've got some boxes here. I'm just going to go over here, change the border to no border, and we'll get to that later on. Okay, so now I've got just a basic, basic um, spreadsheet. I'm going to get rid of this color, go to reset on the color, and I'm good. All right, so now I'm going to put some expenses in here. So I know property tax, we're going to say it's $10,000 and hit enter. Now you see that has nothing to do with money right now. It's got no dollar sign, but aha, I've got some formatting up here. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight all of this and I'm going to go ahead and hit the money. There you go. Now these are pretty cool. I don't really need dollars and cents. I'm just going to get dollars. So I'm going to go ahead and click this to get one, rid of one decimal and then do that to get rid of another. If I want to bring it back, I can just do that. Okay. While I'm here, I'm going to format a little bit, go over to alignment and hit center make it look pretty all right so all those cells I highlighted will now be centered all right so now I'm gonna go ahead and put my annual insurance in we'll say it's twelve hundred dollars a month or excuse me a year and then for mortgage payment I don't have a annual mortgage payment so I'm gonna go ahead and just block this in with a color like a like a uh, gray all right so now let's do formulas so I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna assume at this point you've done some formulas so we're gonna go ahead into this uh, cell and I'm gonna click equals and what I want to do is I want to take whatever's in this cell so I'm gonna click on that it's B4 and I'm going to divide by 12 because there's 12 months and then I hit enter and you can see that it's eight hundred and thirty three dollars now it suggests an autofill let me click over that if if I want to do the same thing here which I do I want to divide that by 12 I'm gonna click on this and I'm gonna 
grab that down, and what it did was it auto-filled. So now it's going to take B5, which is here, and divide it by B12. Now, I don't want any formula here. I'm going to go ahead and um, set up a, um, just put a amount like $1,200, hit enter, and there I am. Okay, so now I'm going to want the total. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to type total monthly expenses because this is what we're doing for front-end work, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and highlight these two and then merge the cells. So I've got that, and then I'm going to, for a little bit of, um, you know, making it look pretty, I'm going to go ahead and right align it. There we go, and I'll make it bold while I'm here. Okay, now um, I'm going to add these up. So we're going to go over to function. We're going to go to sum, and then I'm going to go ahead and highlight those three and hit enter. And you can see now I've got 2133, which is adding those up. I'm going to center this up, and that's what that looks like. I'm going to hit the bold button, and now I've got the total of those. Now, one thing, we'll do a little formatting. Click and drag over these cells. I'm going to go over to borders, and I'm going to click the bottom border. And you see what that does? It puts a nice line. So that's the formatting for what I want there. Now. Um, let's format this. I'm going to go ahead and uncheck that. You can see it un, uh, merges that. And I'm going to go ahead and highlight those three cells, hit merge again, and now it merges those. All right, so that's looking pretty good so far. Last thing I'm going to do in this video um, is going to go mo mo uh, excuse me, monthly gross income. So we're going to go up here, control C. We're going to go down here and click paste. And I'm going to hit monthly gross and I'm just going to delete this part, income. Okay, and then I am going to um, get annual gross income in here. And again, I'm going to go ahead and right click, or I should say right align it. And then we're going to go to annual right here, bold it, and that looks pretty good there. Okay, so now um, I want my annual income here. I want both of these to be dollar signs. So I'll do that. Currency. And I'm going to put $50,000. All right. And just like I did before, I'm going to knock this down to just even dollars so it'll round it. I want to center those up like that. Okay. And then I am going to say I want equals. So I'm going to put a formula in here. Whatever's in this column or in this cell. And I want to divide that by 12 to get my monthly gross income. There it is. And then down here, I'm going to type monthly, make it pretty, center it up, bold and italics. And then just for fun, I'm going to go ahead and do this and put a box around it, just like that. All right, cool. Let's make that bold while I'm at it. There it is. Okay, so that's the setup there for the, the basics here in part one. In part two, I'm going to go ahead and take you through how we're going to set up the actual calculation um, of these. Uh, and before I do that, let me just go ahead and put an underline under this. Now we'll go to the next part.